Judge Manuel Figueroa, or as most of us know him, Judge Manny Figueroa, is a homegrown product of Somerton. His early years were spent on George Street, right across the street from the O.L. Carlisle Elementary School. His family were migrant farm workers, traveling to and from Somerton in the Salinas Valley in Monterey County, California. It was while working in these lettuce fields and apricot orchards that he became obsessed with the writings of John Steinbeck. In Steinbeck's novel, Of Mice and Men, the two main characters, George and Lenny, are farm workers working in the crop fields in Soledad, California. The exact same farm fields in Soledad where Manny and his family spent their summers picking apricots and thinning lettuce. During his last summer in the Salinas Valley, he went to the Soledad Community Library to return a few books he had checked out. The librarian, an older lady, mentioned that he was returning Steinbeck books to a library in Steinbeck country while he had been working in the crop fields made famous by Mr. Steinbeck. Eventually, his family would set roots in that area. The family stopped migrating back and forth from Somerton to the Salinas Valley. His father, Savino, was hired by Mr. Buck Wiley as a farmhand for Wiley's Ranch. The ranch was in the Arroyo Seco area, about eight miles outside of Solidar. Years later, his dear mother, Tomasa, developed breast cancer. Right before she succumbed to cancer, Mr. and Mrs. Figueroa decided to return to Somerton to their home on George Street. Judge Figueroa graduated from Tofa High School in 1977 and from Arizona Western College in 1979 and from the University of Arizona in 1982. After his initial appointment as a judge for the city of San Luis, Arizona, he attended the National Judicial College in Reno, Nevada. He was the judge in San Luis, Arizona for nine years. In 1987, before leaving his post in San Luis, he was elected Justice of the Peace for Precinct 2. At the time, the court was located here in Somerton. In the early 1990s, he resigned from the San Luis court and accepted the position of municipal judge here in Somerton. He simultaneously held these two judicial positions for several years. In 2007, he retired from his position as a Justice of the Peace, but held on to his municipal judge position until today. Over the years, Judge Figueroa had the opportunity to leave Somerton and continue his career in other cities in Arizona, but he chose to stay here in Somerton. He indicated that he wanted to stay here because he felt he could make a difference. He understood the people, their background, the farm worker environment, and their needs. Furthermore, he felt that he knew the citizens of Somerton and what they wanted from their judge. He has never subscribed to the assumption that the court should be a money-making branch of the government, especially local government. Imposing a $1,000 fine on a working professional, such as a doctor, an engineer, or an attorney, is not the same as imposing a $1,000 fine on a farm worker. Judge Figueroa believes to this day that there are alternatives to incarceration, and that imposing $1,000 fines does not change people, it just makes things worse. Historically, Somerton's caseload has been small enough to allow Judge Figueroa ample time to dispense a more hands-on type of justice. His clients were not just another case or another number, he made it more personal. He genuinely cared about his clients and their families. It is important to take into consideration that Judge Figueroa was only 25 years old when he was first appointed judge in San Luis, Arizona. It takes time to gain the trust of an entire community, especially at such a young age. Yet he managed to prove himself to the locals, to the legal community, and more importantly, prove it to himself. Being appointed to take on the responsibilities of a judge in a small community had its unique set of nuances. He quickly understood that his number one task was to remind local leaders about separation of powers. He made it a priority to instill on them that the Constitution mandates separation of powers. During his tenure in San Luis and throughout all the years here in Somerton, the city fathers, the city councils have never interfered with Judge Figueroa or the court. Judicial independence has always been at the forefront. He credits city leaders past and present for granting him complete judicial independence. As for the local community, he said, I guess the people trusted my decisions. He said, being courteous, being compassionate, and being good at what you do goes a very long way. He was asked how he managed with the stress of being a judge in a small community where everyone knows you, everyone knows how to get a hold of you, everyone knows your family members and friends. He jokingly responded by saying, I did lots and lots of distance running. He always managed to find the time to get away to the mountains, to run, to hike, to mountain bike, and to train for marathons. To this day, that is his passion. The wilderness, the mountain bike trails, and the hiking trails continue to be his next best friends. He describes himself as an introvert, but he agrees that once in a while he falls off the proverbial wagon. He would like to thank his staff, past and present, whom without he would have never been on the bench this long. His employees will clearly miss him, 
as he will most definitely miss them. Former clerks Rosa, Macias, and Amada Gloria worked with him for close to 25 years. Nowadays, every court clerk has been with him at least 12 years. The Somerton Court does not have a high turnover problem. The court staff recognize the high standard Judge Figueroa has set, and they welcome the challenge of meeting such high expectations. They sincerely appreciate his leadership. They jokingly mentioned that they enjoy making him and the city look good. He wanted to make sure that we thank his family, those of you who are here tonight, and those of you who did not make it here tonight. Judge indicated that there will be a separate family gathering soon to celebrate his retirement, and that of his sister, Rose Hooker. Like Judge Figueroa, his sister Rose will be retiring from the Yuma County Juvenile Court after nearly 35 years. Likewise, the judge's brother, Sabino Jr., has worked at the local Nissan Auto Center for over 30 years. It must run in the family. Be so dedicated to one organization for over 30 years. Awesome accomplishments. Thank you all, each and every one of you, for being here tonight. You were invited because in some way, big or small, you helped Judge Figueroa to do what he does best. Provide fair justice for all. Gracias.